in my landscapes and my flowers and my still life, I do try to acquire a feeling of, of uh, peace and quietness and try to bring, bring the pleasure that the viewer has in just seeing and the restful nature of a painting. But in my sport art, I like to do action scenes. And those, that's a different feeling all, all together. And I enjoy, that's a challenge just to uh, try to put a lot of action in my paintings and, and make the, the player look at, as if he is in the midst of, of running or catching a ball or riding a horse. And, and I like to put a lot of movement and action in that. And that, that's, that's fun. At the art shows, it does give me a lot of energy to keep going on and, and uh, gives me a lot of inspiration to hear the compliments from, the peop from people and, and getting to know new people and talking about my work. I enjoy talking to the people about my work and why I decided to do a certain painting. And, of course, and I also get a lot of good critique from from a lot of people. Uh, when I'm doing painting animals, I, I like to know if I've painted something correctly. Or uh, I learned a lot about turkeys by painting the, t the turkey paintings. I was, as an artist, I tried to do the feathers a different color and I just learned that I can't do that. But these hunters, they like to see the real thing and they want to see every little little feather, so I, uh, that was a challenge in itself, just to do, paint turkeys, and, and I enjoy painting dogs, animals, I think they're just, uh, they're fun to paint, they're just wonderful, and uh, I love to paint golf, golf holes, I've done a lot, that's going from animals to landscapes, but uh, golfing is just, that's been a challenge to go out on the golf courses with the groundskeeper and they explain to me every little hill and little, uh, the sand traps and you get to know a lot about their favorite holes, golf holes, and uh, I've done, I went to Austin, Texas and did uh, Barton Creek, I did a painting, three paintings for for um, Jim Bob Moffat and uh, from Freeport McMoran, and three of my pa of my golf holes are in his office. With my rich colors that I try to use, I do a lot of glazing. I'll go over and over, and let it dry, and that's what brings you the depth and the luminosity that of of your of my work is is uh, not to use as much water. Uh, you do background, you do lots of water in your background, and then you just layer and layer. It's called glazing until you get the depth and luminosity that you want. And, and that becomes more dramatic. It makes your paintings more dramatic once you do that. Well, I think they all have different personalities. To, the flowers do, and the colors and personalities, and I, I see every flower is different, and every, even every color is different, and uh, I enjoy doing the sh shadows, and uh, working with whites, I enjoy working with white petals and white flowers, and um, it's, it's a challenge to me to try to continue to do, to do things that are, um, contrasting white colors and and uh, and I enjoy the uh, the depth trying to put depth in my painting and translucence in, in watercolors you know some people feel like watercolors is the most difficult medium but to me if you conquer that medium and I think I've conquered it it's the easiest medium there is and uh, the secret to that is to take as many lessons, watercolor lessons, as possible as, you, as you're 
at learning to paint because I was I was trying to teach myself watercolors and that wasn't working. So I've gathered a lot of information from a lot of different artists and a lot of different professional watercolor um, teachers and pretty much acquired my own technique and that's the trick is to acquire your own technique and take a little bit of from each one of your teachers and and uh, that if people can recognize your work